What is going on gamers? Today we're going to be installing ClearLag onto our Apex servers. One of the biggest concerns for server owners is lag. Lag can be caused for a variety of reasons, whether it's from resources you add to your server or the hardware your server is running on. However, if you host with Apex, hardware shouldn't be an issue. There are certain plugins that can help reduce lag caused by resources or players. ClearLag is one of the most common plugins for any type of Minecraft server. Essentially what it does is it allows you to remove any trouble entities that may exist on your server. Perhaps someone dropped thousands of items in a single chunk, causing your server to lag. By clearing dropped entities, ClearLag ensures that your server stays operating smoothly. As with a number of plugins, your server must be running craft buckets, spigot, or paper in order to load ClearLag. You can find a guide on changing your server version below the video. Our first step when changing any of the server's files is, of course, to stop the server. Once the server is stopped, we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the jar selection part of the page. From there, we're going to want to make sure that we're either running craft bucket, spigot, or paper. For today's example, we're just going to go ahead and run with craft bucket. But we definitely recommend paper or spigot as they are far better than craft bucket. If I type in craft, or even if I just scroll up or down, it's going to pull up. And then I'm going to go ahead and select craft bucket 1.12.2. From there, I'm going to go ahead and select craft bucket. Make sure to change the version. And you can either create a new world or use an existing one. For today's example, I'm just going to create a new one. And then hit OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and head to the plugins tab on the left of the page. From there, you're going to need to type in clear lag with no space and two G's. And then from there, clear lag is going to appear. Go ahead and click that. There's no version description, but if you use this, it's going to work on all the versions that are listed on the web page. So go ahead and hit install. And while that's installing, we're going to go ahead and open this in a new tab so that we can check on the version history. From here, we can see that it's tested all the way from 1.14 to 1.8. The cool thing with ClearLag is that when they update the plugin, it'll work with all of these versions. Back on the plugin page for ClearLag, we can see that we have installed ClearLag. So go ahead and click on the name of your server at the top here, and it'll take you all the way back and start or restart your server. When your server is starting up, a good way to check on the plugin installation is by heading to console. From there, you can see that everything is starting up correctly. We can see that crap bucket is starting up correctly. And solely scrolling up, we can see that the clear lag jar has been successfully installed. And even by scrolling down a little bit more, we can see that it's loading clear lag and clear lag has been enabled which means that you have successfully installed ClearLag onto your Apex server. But maybe you want to install ClearLag through the FTP web panel that Apex offers. All you're going to need to do for that is scroll down and download the ClearLag jar. Once it's downloaded, make sure to keep the file and either move this to a folder where you know it's going to be or keep note of where it's downloaded. And now that we've downloaded our file, our first step, as always, when changing any of your server's files is stopping the server. Once you stop your server, go ahead and head to FTP file access, log in, and then scroll down until you find the plugins folder here. Go ahead and go into the plugins folder and head to upload. Through the upload tab, go ahead and open up the folder where you have the clear lag jar and click and drag and drop your file to the page. Once your file is fully uploaded, it'll give you a good 100% and an uploaded one out of one files. From there, you can go ahead and click on the name of your server at the top so you can restart your server. Once your server has started the process of starting up, you can go ahead and head to console. You can see that ClearLag will start enabling itself, and then you can see that ClearLag will be enabled, which means you have successfully installed ClearLag onto your Apex server. And from there, we're going to go ahead and click on the name of our server, scroll down, copy the subdomain, or go ahead and copy that full IP address port combination, and jump 
into your server. Now that we've got our server up and running and we have ClearLag installed, we're going to go ahead and hop into multiplayer and jump into the server. As you can see, ClearLag is already wanting to remove all items on the ground. And a great way to check up on ClearLag is to type slash PL and hit enter. And it's going to tell you how many plugins you have and which plugins they are. We, of course, only have ClearLag installed. So let's say we wanted to check how many entities are on the ground. What we would do is type slash L-A-G-G -G and then check. And it would tell us how many players are alive, chunks loaded, active mob spawners, uptime, all that good information. And as admin, a good way to check the permissions you have are slash L-A-G-G -G space admin. And then it'll tell you all the things you can do. Or let's say that for whatever reason, your server is lagging way too much because there is a horde of zombies knocking down your door. What you can do to get around this is type slash L A G G and then K I L L M O B S. This is slash lag kill mobs and this will kill a bunch of the mobs around you, which will free up some of your server's resources. Well, folks, there you have it. If you want to look at any of the commands that ClearLog has to offer, you can go ahead and check the ClearLog website under the video. And now we're going to take a look at the configuration files for ClearLag. Our first step is, of course, going to be stopping the server. Once the server stopped, you can go ahead and head to config files on the left here. And then from there, you can jump into the config for ClearLag. Most of the things in this configuration file are disabled by default. Any line with a hashtag in front of it is also going to be disabled. One of the most common configuration changes made is the broadcast message. If you want to scroll down to where it says broadcast, and if you want to remove the auto removal portion of the config doc, you're going to find the settings for the broadcast message and the warning section both of which can be changed to your liking. As we said before, a lot of the things are set to false by default. So what you can do if you want to change them is change them to T-R-U-E and then hit save at the very bottom of the page. And if you want to have even more options with ClearLag, you can scroll down past the broadcasting part and see all the options that you have to change. For example, if you want to change how many transfers happened with Hoppers, you can limit it to five, or you can limit it to 10, or however much you want to limit it to. You can scroll down and find the part, the part where it limits how fast something spawns or despawns, and then you can, of course, because it's going to be disabled, you're going to go ahead and name it true if you want it to be so. If you want to disable flying or you want to limit how fast somebody can move, you can do that. And just by scrolling down, you can set what doesn't despawn. So if you have lots of stuff with item frames or the things in the item frames are important, you can set it so that that doesn't despawn or even by scrolling down a little bit more, we can find the disable the new chunk generation and put a cap on how many can actually load at once. Scroll down a little bit more. We can reduce global dispenser fire rate and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. You definitely have lots and lots of options with ClearLag. Just make sure that once you've set your settings, you hit save, you head back to the main Multicraft page, and you start or restart your server to make sure all of those settings are set and final. We're going to link you below the video, of course, to a tutorial on how a lot of people set up their ClearLag. In conclusion, ClearLag is one of the most essential plugins to a Minecraft server. Having it helps significantly with lag reduction, which is a key part to owning a public server. This plugin is nice because there's not too much configuration you're going to have to do for it. But if you wanted to configure it and have it more detailed, that's definitely possible. Don't forget that this plugin is not going to work unless you're running a craft bucket or a spigot or a paper jar. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Thank you so much for using an Apex server. And as always, I hope you have. Lots of fun.